Hi, good day all of you. Welcome to our session. Welcome to our channel, Intelligible Tutorials. In this today's session, now I want to give the assignment answers for the week one for blockchain and application and its applications. So it is the NPTEL course, a 12 week course it is actually. So week one assignments uh, and its solutions now I am going to give in this particular course. So the due date is given as February 9th, but uh, I have completed prior itself. So that's why I am giving the answers for this assignment one solutions. Actually 12 more weeks are there. Uh, it is the first week completed, later we are having 11 more weeks are there. So to get, uh, I will upload all the solutions for all the weeks. So to view all the solutions of all the weeks for this blockchain and, up and its applications course, Please do subscribe my channel and watch all the videos. So let us go to the solutions for the week one assignment. For this, the first question, what is the expected, what is expected by decentralized solution for a successful supply chain management? It is given in the lecture material itself. Uh, for this, the answer is no one should trust each other. However, they should cooperate. And now coming to the second one, what does trust mean in a decentralized blockchain? So the trust mean the above three answers are correct and the last one is the invalid one that is none of the above. So the correct answers are to secure the chain using specific protocols to validate the transactions and blacks for tamper proofing to execute and confirm the transactions. And now coming to the question number three, where are the transactions recorded in the blockchain? So the transactions are recorded in the blockchain on a distributed immutable ledger. Okay, next coming to the fourth one. What is one of the requirements of a secure hashing function? The secure hashing function is actually a one-way function it is. Okay, and now coming to the question number five. For a 512-bit hash function, the attacker needs to compute how many hash operations in order to find two matching outputs. So the solution for this is given in the lecture notes itself as 2 to the power of n by 2. So what is the n value here? 512. So 512 by 2 that is 2 to the power of 256. The exponential value of the 256 is given as 1.158 into 10 to the power of 77. So the answer for this solution for this question is option A. And now coming to the sixth question. Which one of the following is correct statement about a cryptographic hashing function? For a cryptographic hash function, given the same message, the hash function would not return the same hash. So it's not the correct one. It's not very difficult to generate the original message from the hash. This is also the not the correct one. A small change in the message impacts the hash value. So the, I think this one is the correct one as per my knowledge. So I put C is the... Mm, best answer and coming to the D one can easily find two different messages with the same hash it's also not the correct answer so as per my knowledge I consider C is the better answer so I put the C and coming to the seventh one what are the security features of the hash function those are deterministic puzzle friendly okay and now coming to the eighth one SHA-512 hashing algorithm used, bit, used by Bitcoin blockchain to determine the hash of a block. So it is false actually SHA-256 hashing algorithm is going to be used. So this is also the false answer and coming to the ninth one. If a particular node tamper with a block the result in which action that is modification of hash mismatch of hash values and the local chain of node rendered in an invalid state. So these three are the correct options. And now coming to the question number 10. What is the hash value of SYM if SHA-256 is used? Here they have provided one link. Just click on the link and give the SYM. Then you will get the answers. Here I find the correct answer that is A is the correct answer. So these are the answers I considered according to my level of the knowledge as best knowledge. So these are the correct answers I consider. So just go through these answers and please do subscribe my channel to watch all the solutions for all the weeks of this particular course that is blockchain and applications. So thank you one and all. Thank you so much.